got to have a little nasty side to you, I mean, because we're out on that island playing man-to-man -man all game. So, I mean, you got to have an edge to yourself to, uh, just to show them that you ain't out there to be played with. How do you, how do you show your edge when you're on the field? Uh, just toughness, trying to bring energy to the defense, the whole defense, keeping everybody going, having all the energy, high intensity, and just having a little trash talk against the guy in front of me. Nothing wrong with a little trash talk, is it? No, no nothing, not at all. I feel like uh, as you learn more and more about this defense, you feel like it's a good fit for you specifically with what you can do well? Yeah, I'm getting real more comfortable with it, with the press man, and we play a little bit of off, but just getting up and bumping and running, getting real familiar with it and comfortable with it, just confidence growing every day real high. Playing more press man. That almost makes you guys as cornerbacks instead of playing sort of off like you guys did in the past. Does that almost make you feel a little more like in the game, I guess, engaged in the game? Yes, for sure. We're more engaged and it's letting the receiver know that we're going to be in your face all day. So, you know, and when he's coming out of the huddle, that there's going to be a guy in his face from start to finish. He ain't got a free release off the ball. When you do play that press man, what does that do to the options the receiver has? Oh, I mean, it limits uh, the route tree. I mean, because outside releases, we just trying to produce, go fades and take away the outside release. So mostly inside breaking routes, we're trying to eliminate. Did you play much press, much, much press here first last few years? It was balanced. Mm -hmm. A little bit of off, a little bit of press, but this is a lot more press than we played in previous years. Would you like to have played more press you know, earlier in your career? Yeah, because you're challenging the receivers, like I said, from start to finish. <laughs> Do the coaches talk a lot about how it can kind of work together where the, the pressing can help with the pass rush? Oh, you know, yeah, because if you get in pass rush, good coverage is going to have the quarterback hold the ball a little bit longer. And if you do get the ball out, as long as we know we're there on our guy, then it's going to be a hard pass to complete. How are you matching up with Tyler these days? I'm matching up pretty well with him. I challenge him when he step out and we do one-on-ones. I try to step out and go up against him. He wins some, I win some, so it's a good battle. Mm -hmm. Anything else? you guys work on any quarterback blitzes at all in this game? Uh, we got a couple DB blitzes, but not too many. They focus on the linebackers majority. But there's a couple I'm sure they'll do and run. Do you like having that edge? Yeah, because it, it brings a change up. I mean, we impress men all the time, so the quarterback won't expect us coming from now. So. How often do you find yourself dreaming about the next level? Say that one time. How often do you find yourself dreaming about the next level? Right now, I'm not focused about that. I'm just trying to focus on this team, win some games, and get to ACC championship. Thank you. Thank you.